Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel and you're watching an American Tale, Chip Goes West. And today we're looking for a long lost friend. We got a lot of time to complete this level, so it may be a very long one. There are 37 chips in it. And I have a feeling in this one there will be no red herrings. We're going to be collecting them all. So let's go ahead and get pushing through here. We want to blow up bombs with blocks probably to the greatest extent possible. Okay, so how do we want to do this then? We want to... Let's go ahead and... Okay, here's a little bit of a block pusher. And I think I see the... There we go. Very nice. Okay, so now we got all four of those chips. Okay, a little bit of a potpourri type deal, it would seem. Okay, and now we got to get those blocks that we didn't use. Hopefully we have enough usable ones. Okay, it only takes two to get through this little... So this is kind of like... Okay, this is a little kind of sort of... Maybe it's a nuts and bolts type level from back in the day. Every now and then you'd get those medley levels in Chips and Challenge. Chips and Challenge. Oh my gosh. I, I could go for some fish and chips and challenge right now, but I am getting a little peckish during this recording sesh, but yeah, you used to get these little medley levels in chips challenge, like nuts and bolts, where they just throw a bunch of kitchen sink type deals at you. Is this a safe zone? It is for now. Okay, where is the, oh gosh, oh, oh my gosh, I almost got pegged in the balls by the balls okay okay so i think i missed some stuff up there but okay we need to lure the teeth away from the good stuff okay that thing is free but i think that's actually that's actually good <laughs> good for us good night okay so come on teeth let's play some games shall we i think i yeah i think i missed stuff oh, well i'm cornered <laughs> That was unfortunate. Okay, so let me let me just see to it that I did miss something by not... Yeah, I did not explore around the corner there. Okay, so that's where I want to get to the next time. All right, let's do this again then. Let's give it one more... Let's give it one more college try on camera and then we'll... Ooh, that was just about the stupidest thing you ever did see. That was... Oh, man boy these block pushing puzzles you can't be too hasty now no time for hasty pudding let's walk around and get that get our bridge built okay yeah just kind of a little potpourri of puzzles here nothing no real theme i'm not sure why it's called long lost friend unless uh this is me trying to get to melinda somehow but let's go for it Let's go for it. Okay, so now we want to make sure to cut around the wall here. Okay. And we've got a green key. The green key brings you buyers, so I've heard. Okay. And I don't think there was anything to really explore around the way there. So let's play with the teeth again. Let's play with Grandpa's dentures. Oh, boy. Okay. Got, got... That one, that one literally almost bit me in the butt. I see the blobs down there. The blobs. Oh, gosh, the blobs. That is the most sickening movement animation. And, oh, my gosh. I am really playing with fire here. And there's not even any fire in this part. So, oh, hey. Okay, so maybe what we want to do is play around. Okay, so this is just the ball court right here. What do we want to do here? I think there were too many balls coming this way. I'm going to follow them around. I got to say, I don't really like it. No, let's... I don't like following them through this. I may need to follow them higher up into the hallway, but... Oh, yikes. Okay, so hopefully being in a chip spot... I think there's only three balls in here. Yeah, it looks a lot more threatening than it is. General. Well, no, there's more than that, but let's go ahead and I think I'm safe right here. Okay, there's, okay, the red key goes there and the yellow key goes there. So, okay, what's going on here? So if I go, let's grab this and I think I want to get this happening. All right. And if once I push the clone button, they might start 
I think I don't want to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, glide into... Okay, so I'm going to need to... I think I was supposed to come up into here from some... Why didn't I think of that? Oh my gosh. Round the wheel. You are so dumb sometimes. All right, let's try following them up the way this time and see how this goes. This definitely feels like a Chips Challenge 1 level... Oh, okay, this is where the exit is. Okay, so I want to so I want to come here last. Yeah, this definitely feels like a Chips Challenge 1 level in the sense that uh, you can get a billion years of the way into it and then screw one thing up and you have to start all the way over for the rest of eternity. Yeah, so let's try... Yeah, let's go Red Dwarf first. That would seem to be a better idea. We go here and then... Um... Okay, we, and then we go up into here. Okay, I see. I see the pathway. Very nice. Okay, so... Alright, yeah, let's push this down into here, and then once I clear this out, they'll go down into the water and die, right? No, yeah, oh yeah, they glide over water. That's right. I'm an idiot, so I don't remember things that I am taught. Okay, but I think I only have two chips left, and it's just these two, so I don't think... I don't think we're going to be seeing a clone party on parade anytime soon unless these I don't think there's any way with the angles for these guys to get oh no oh no I've done a bad okay so I want to go into here hopefully they have not gotten down oh gosh they've gotten down into here oh boy okay so okay they're off running around doing the thing okay so now I just got to wait for the okay they can't get out and actually impede my progress to the exit that's good that i'm grateful for okay and now we want to go around and we just pop into the exit there we go that was certainly a level of some kind or another a very long one but yeah definitely definitely evocative of that chips challenge one type of feeling where it's just uh throw a whole bunch of crazy crap at the walls and run the gauntlet Desert Oasis by Joshua Bone, who has been watching. Hi, Joshua Bone. It's always nice when you get one of the developers in watching your stuff. So let's see what's going on in the desert here. Hopefully I'm not I'm not potentially freeing a bunch of uh, marauders or terrible enemies by... So there's no... Okay. Oh, hey, a hint. Here we go. The random force floor really has a sequence. Oh, does it now? That's gonna hurt. Uh, epilepsy warning. I was never able to. I was never able to turn it off. So the animation off on those things. So yes, if this is gonna, I'm gonna go away from this, and I'm going to advise you that if that kind of thing hurts your eyes, to just dip now. Uh, oh, okay. That, so it's not the floors that have a sequence. It's finding the blocks. In the desert. Now we just got to find the place where I can get there in three steps. Probably. Unless there are more sequences of blocks around. Yeah, if this is not your cup of tea. If watching things blink rapidly in your face is not something you enjoy. And I can't say I'm a huge fan of it either. But uh, I haven't been able to actually turn that off. Because that option is grayed out for me. It was suggested to me. And I was definitely going to take it. But... Go ahead and skip to the next level if you don't uh, enjoy this sort of thing. I'm just running around giving you time to do that, pretty much. So, where can we get in? There's three blocks here. We want to get in. Where is the three block challenge? So, four. Okay, I think I can push it up into here. Well, oh, well, that went, that went well. And that's not going to spit me out onto... Okay, hopefully... This might be too random to work, actually. But, uh... Because if it spits it left or right... Or right back onto my face, there is that. Okay, so where... I need to look carefully around the oasis. Okay, there is a... There is probably a place where I can deposit the blocks. It said there is actually a sequence... So maybe there's a place, and I don't think it's right here. Um, if I put them right here, maybe I should deposit them like up here somewhere. Um, 
Yeah, but you can also you can also push them and they will go right back onto your face. So there has to be a way to maybe do it without using the floor. That would be very nice. A little space you can just get in. I only see three blocks though. Um, does one of them have a flipper underneath it? Is this kind of like that castle moat level from Chips Challenge the first? Let's push them all up a little bit and see if we get an item out of any of them. Well, let's clear out the dirt first and not be an idiot. Okay, no, they don't. None of them has, none of them has a toy under them that we can use. Okay, so what is... I don't really think it's pushing it through here. Yeah, because see, yeah, you go this way and then you don't have the means to do it. And then you can push it. Yeah, you don't have the... You don't have the luck to get it done like that three times. There's got to be an ironclad way to do it. This one's going to push it onto me. Watch this. Okay, no, it didn't. But it did make this completely useless. I've got to get out to land somehow. How will I do that? Okay, if I don't clear out the dirt on this side, that will at least force the first block upward, I think. And now... Okay, yeah. So now at this point, I would have to get lucky with it. And hopefully it will allow me to do that. Hopefully it will allow me to do that. Okay. It'll take me up, and then right, and then down, and then left. So if I go left out of the... F okay, so this must be what it means. Okay. So now if I push this, it should go up. Yes, it does. And then I'll go right, and then I'll go into it again, and I'll go down, and then left, and then up. Okay, so it's not totally random. Okay. Okay. What a weird thing to have to figure out. Like, okay, so wait, which way is it going now? It's so it was, okay, so if I had pushed it into the thing, then it would have gone back into my face. And now it's gonna go left, now it goes up. Okay, hmm, that's very exploitable and weird. And I'm not entirely sure that that's a kosher way to do level design. I, hmm, I don't know about that one, Chief. That seems to like, it's like, okay, well, there's a specific way this works. Good luck figuring it out. Uh, because that's the only three path to the exit. So you kind of have to... So, okay. That's something I'm going to have to file away for the future. The I'm going to get off this screen. The random ones are not totally random. That is good to know. And I wonder if that carries over across multiple ones. Like, if you go in one and it spits you out like upward can you go to another one and it will spit you out to the right that's that's something to consider so trial of elements here we go let's let's do this one now uh okay we want to go i think probably as far as we can without without getting ourselves killed okay there we go we can, we're getting around pretty well here i think but I haven't gotten any of the other boots yet, so... Oh, okay, here we go. Mm. Aha! Okay, so he's gonna steal those. And now it's time to go through the fire. Here we go. Okay, this is neat. I'm digging this. Uh... Oh, down. Okay, so let's go that way. And then... That's a dead end, it looks like. So... Um... Ooh, okay. Where is the correct way to go here? Ah, it's probably here. So we go up through here and... Hmm. I can't step off and get those force boots just yet, I don't think. But I think I'm supposed to be able to, maybe, because... Should I have saved the flippers? Or... Yeah, because I'm just going to go off the thing and into the into the water and I don't have those anymore. Is there a way to get around that thief? Doesn't appear so. And I don't know. Yeah, there's recessed walls. I can't go back later and there's pop-up walls. I can't go back later and get the get the flippers back or anything. 
So I need to I need to find a better way around, I think. I'm gonna go here and Oh yeah, so if I go here. Yeah, either way I go, yeah, I just go into the lake. So do I have to somehow I'm thinking I might somehow have to get the force boots. Well, no, because Okay, okay, the okay, the game is starting to ramp up now. I under I understand and I appreciate that, and I didn't mean to do that, per se. Um, so yeah, if I go around and get those, so I'm gonna need the ice skates to get the force boots. So I need to get the, I need to use the fire boots to get something else. Uh, okay, so here we go. Let's go down this way. I the multiple paths is really interesting. So okay, but I know I need the force. Okay, so I need to use the fire boots okay okay I need to use the fire boots to get the ice cleats somehow okay so I just wasn't finding the path I think I was doing it right I just wasn't finding the right path so I need to work my way to the left let's go ahead and do that I can't force myself past this I don't think I'm gonna take a blind leap over to the left Nope, that was that resulted in failure. So it's not that way. So where is it then? Let's go here. All right, I think I've pretty much figured out the. I think I've pretty much figured out the water path. You need to get around to them fire boots. Okay, those are collected. Let's go. Where to now, though? Maybe, perhaps, to here somewhere? No, this is a dead end. Um, and I can't just step onto the ice going that way. Boy, this is a, this is a hard maze to parse. I gotta, I gotta give it up. This is, this is truly kind of challenging. Okay, it's already been established. Can I step off left by holding left? No, I can't. I didn't think I could do that, but I just thought it was worth a try. I'm just not finding the path, I don't think. Um, hmm. This is definitely a sticky one. A tricky maze. Okay. Maybe I should try to look for the fire path as I go swimming. Okay, so... Um, but yeah, let's try to reverse backwards it. So, okay, I was in the right place. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, reverse engineering a puzzle. Always, okay, so I want to get back to where I was, where I was near the force shoes. I did not see that path. Okay, very good. Okay, well, so let's go then and get going up this way. There it is. Go down this way and up to here. Aha! There we go. So now we gotta walk along the ice to... Uh, well, all we gotta do is walk to this bit. We have two bits of ice at the same time. Okay, so now we can walk along the ice with impunity. Very good. And we can go into here. Okay, the trial has ended. So now we just have to see about something else it would seem. Uh, I can get through here. Okay, so there must be... Okay, so now I just have to make a bridge... To the oh there's a hint down there i didn't even realize okay i didn't even realize i could make my way down there for a hint so let's go ahead and push this i think we're going to want to do this here and then get this over here okay yeah this is just going to be brute force block pushing right here that is nah, that's fine it's kind of a weird way to end the level but and i have the force boots so there we go one block, two block, three block, and four block, and done. There we go. Wow, Chip's actual challenge today. That was uh, that was some rough stuff, but uh, we did it. We made it through the trial of the elements. A very nice, very challenging little level. I'm, I am shocked. Shocked, I say. Shocked. It's uh okay. So now it's time to start taking the game seriously about. Little less than 25% of the way through. We're on level 48. We're a little less than away through the quarter of the game. 
And next time, we will hopefully make it over that hump if the next two levels don't prove to be crazy or anything.